Hello and welcome to the overview of the My Solar Edge app. We're going to look at the dashboard in this particular video, but there are other videos for the battery, the layout and smart devices. As you can see, I've got a battery here and um, what's just happened is I've got a little bit of import from the grid. Um, this happens every now and again, um, mainly when the uh, PV reduces or increases, the battery charge reduces or increases, and it's a very small amount. You're not actually importing from the grid. What you're seeing is the reaction. So you're seeing the uh, inverter already reacting to what's going on, but the uh, monitoring is uh, just slightly behind that and then takes a while to catch up. Anyway, you can see on here we've got 2.56 kilowatt hours of what we produced today. Currently, I'm producing 1.24 kilowatts. My home is using uh, 140 watts and my battery is now charging at 1.1 kilowatt. So I've got 69%. If I scroll down, you can see I've got some smart devices here. Uh, these are the um, uh, smart hot water unit, which I'm using for a conservatory heater. And then the smart switches, uh, which I'm using for lamps throughout the house, as you can see on here. Now, in the next video, we'll look at these in greater detail. Uh, moving down, you can see the energy produced this month, this year, and in a lifetime. The monetary values underneath are not uh, correct because I haven't changed the value of um, uh, price per kilowatt since it was 13 pence. So I was a bit uh, lax with that. So please take, don't take a look at the money. The money is actually going to be more than that if you were to uh, change it yourself. Uh, moving down, you can see we have day, week, month, year, and billing. Okay, billing we don't need to worry about too much. So back to the day. You can see what's happened today. My production of 2.56 kilowatts. 75% um, has gone to the battery, 24% to the home. And I've used in consumption 1.84 kilowatts today and 100 watts has come from the grid. You can also see that 95% has come from solar and battery to power the home. If we scroll down again, we have another uh, section here where I can merge grass or split grass. If we go to split graph, what you can see is you have a production, you have a consumption, and then you have a battery. I prefer to have the uh, graphs merged, gives a better overview. You can see on here we have um, some orange uh, peaks in consumption. Now if I click on this and we can expand, what you can see is that this is purely uh, as devices of large amount has been turned on. Um, you can see my inverter is set to 3.68, but my load was actually 4 kilowatts. So there will be a input from the grid in that particular case. The first particular peak uh, was simply devices being turned on uh, rapidly and then turned off again. Right, let's go back. We scroll down to the battery. We can see what the battery is doing. Um, it's now climbing, it's charging. Um, if we go back to yesterday, simply swiping across, we can see how the battery has charged and performed and so on. We can also do this in the other charts. Uh, let's go back to where are we now? Thursday. Friday you can see uh, we had some consumption um, you'll see lots of orange on here and I just want to explain this okay the reason this has orange is because I turned my inverter off uh, for a test so I've completed that test um, and now my inverter has turned back on and this is why I have orange and now I have green okay um, and this is today this is Saturday rather um, and then we have uh, on yesterday 
So you can see my um, entire usage is covered by my battery and my PV. If I look at yearly uh, as this year, you can see that so far uh, I've had uh, 0.17 megawatt hours input from the grid and my total consumption is 2.16 megawatt hours. So I've done very, very well. I've not imported from the grid at all. And 92% of my energy has come from uh, my battery or from my PV. Um, that's pretty much all of that there explained. We've got the comparative energy. I'll just open this up again. And you can see on here how some months have done better than others. Right, so we're currently on the green one for 2024. You can see we've tied, if not done better than 2023 in some months. Um, what also is interesting on here is how we started out in 2022 uh, incredibly well. Uh, and you would think that the other months for April's dropped down thinking, oh, we've got a problem. And then we come to... Um, uh, we come to this month here in particular for June and you can see we've outshone all the others. So um, please don't uh, look at it and think, oh, it's not doing very well because it is always doing very well. Uh, we've got some environmental benefits underneath and then we've got at the bottom, we've got the battery, we've got the smart energy devices and the loud. And you'll see these in later videos. So please join me for those. For more information on My Solar Edge, see Edge Academy and our YouTube channel.